Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. Which of the structure listed below is not typically transmitted by the superior orbital fissure? So now this question, they want to which is not transmitted through the superior orbital fissure. So first of all, we have to find out the superior orbital fissure which lies in the skull base and superior orbital fissure it is all of the uh, one of the skull base phenomena which connects the orbital cavity with the cranial cavity so here the options options are electrical nerve abducent nerve zygomatic nerve superior ophthalmic mid and superior division of the oculomotor nerve and in this picture we can see this area this is the superior orbital fissure here this part this is the superior orbital fissure so the superior orbital fissure it's located uh, it can be seen both in the orbital cavity and the cranial cavity and it is known to us that it lies between these two bones these bones and these bones and here we can see this is the laser wing of the sphenoid and here this is the greater wing of the sphenoid so superior orbital fissure it is located between the greater wing of the sphenoid and laser wing of the sphenoid bone so we have to find out the structure which passes through this superior orbital fissure so here this is the superior orbital fissure we can see it is cut section of the superior orbital fissure and we can see the different structure within the superior orbital fissure which passes and uh, it is now clear for us that these are the nervous component and here this is the vein so the superior orbital fissure it contains nerve and vein not any of the artery so this point is very very important that the superior orbital fissure it uh, uh, through it passes veins and nerve not other component so first of all we can see the name of this nerve here we can see this is the lacrimal nerve then frontal nerve proctial nerve then we can see this is the superior and inferior branch of the of the oculomotor nerve then abducent and mesocytiary nerve and here the mnemonics the mnemonics l l for lacrimal f f for frontal here we can see then t for proclear then o for oculomotor here we can see this is the oculomotor in for nasociliary and a for abducent so they are the structure which passes through the superior orbital fissure so this mnemonic is very very important lft1 that means the liver function test on a and through this it is very easy to remember all the structure which passes through the superior orbital fissure and the superior orbital fissure it contains nerve and vein there is no artery so here we can see this is the orbital cavity and there are different contents and this area is the superior orbital fissure and here we can see the nerve component is passing so our answer is now ready that the zygomatic nerve the zygomatic nerve is not passes through the superior orbital fissure other options such as the lactable we can see the mnemonic first this is the elft or liver function test on a here l for lactable then a we can see the abducent a for abducent then here we can see the ophthalmic vein o for ophthalmic vein superior and inferior and then here we can see the oculomotor nerve it, this o for oculomotor nerve so our answer is the zygomatic nerve the zygomatic nerve is not a bunch of or not a structure which passes through the superior orbital fissure so zygomatic nerve is not passes through it because uh, because the zygomatic it has the uh, uh, the separate branch thank you all